For 25 years, this has been no man's land, an evacuated exclusion zone surrounding the damaged reactor of Chernobyl's nuclear power station. But it's very familiar territory for a team of scientists who risk their health to come back here. They want to find out what happened to the life that was left behind after the disaster. These researchers have spent the last decade investigating Chernobyl's wildlife. They return each year to catch and examine birds and other animals in the exclusion zone, so they can find out how they've been affected by the radiation. In this post-apocalyptic landscape, it feels like nature has won, but appearances can be deceptive. Parts of the exclusion zone are actually quite beautiful. There's this eerie kind of wilderness here. And that's perhaps where this myth that wildlife is flourishing in the zone has come from. But the biologists who actually study here say that that's exactly what it is, a myth. A reading 2,000 times what it should be. This small patch of forest is one of the most contaminated areas. Of course, when you go to this Chernobyl zone, there is a very special feeling because there are uh, contaminated areas where you don't see the contamination and uh, you don't observe it uh, directly, but you actually observe it under indirectly by the less birds singing in the mornings. <laughs> Other scientists say that the absence of man has actually brought lots more wildlife into the zone. But this team claims to be uncovering just how damaging living here really is. The main message that we're trying to get across, uh, the main finding that we've found, not only in the birds but also in the insects and with the mammals as well, is that there is a very significant impact uh, of this contamination on both the abundance of these organisms and the biodiversity, the numbers of species that exist. And it's directly proportional to the level of background contamination. In the nearby town of Pripyat, they were preparing to celebrate the opening of their fairground. Then the accident happened. This ferris wheel was never used. The landscape here might take hundreds of years to fully recover, and the lessons of Chernobyl are only now beginning to be learnt. But they could alter the entire nuclear debate. Victoria Gill, BBC News, Chernobyl.